move on to race eight on Saturday. It's the uh, middle, you know, it's not the the end that we're so used to, but you get your Breeders' Cup Classic right in the middle. Uh, field of 14, another post that I love, the number one Forever Young. But over the last couple of days, my opinion has not only included Forever Young, I'm a big fan of number 14 next here in this spot with Juan Machado aboard, a horse that's been obviously very successful beating Lesser as far as competition at much longer distances, a horse that's going to be on the front end. And uh, Tim, you, I had said when we joined, I was a little concerned about the post position, but you told me not to fret and that you liked next as well and that the outside post actually isn't that uh, big of a concern. So uh, wh why do you think that? Yeah, I, look, ne next is a horse with a lot of ability, and basically Lu Luan is, is going to be looking for a spot here. That's what he always does. This is a horse that doesn't show speed, and basically what he's going to look to do is place his horse behind those that go out. And, and what better place than to be out in the 14 hole to be able to take this horse and do that? He's, he's, he's going to run him outside. He's going to find where that spot is, put him in behind the horses. And, and I wouldn't be surprised if they make a run at this race. It, look, I, I, I agree. I'm, I'm on forever young here. You guys know I've been saying it since the Derby that that horse should have won that race, was the best horse in the race. And, and they've been waiting to come back here and, and, and win and show what this horse is. And I, I think this is a position. Again, I, I, when we're talking post-position draws as we are, I don't like that this horse drew the one. But again, I, th this is a horse that's going to want to take back a bit anyway. So hopefully it uh, doesn't get buried. It's a 14-horse race. And that's always the concern with drawing the rail in a race like this. So hopefully they're able to make out a trip and come running. Here's, here's my post-position interpretation uh, for fierceness. Throw him out. Throw him out. He's in the middle. It's not where he wants to be. Every time he gets in the middle, he throws in that bad race. I know they've had the time. I know fierceness has kind of finally come along and it was showing a little bit, but this horse doesn't like to be in a mess like this in a 14 horse race. I, I, I think he finishes up the track. Very interesting. And uh, here we go again with my most, you know, you know what I hate about pol politics season is everyone posting pictures about how big the crowds are. And here's my crowd of 12 and here's my crowd of 20 and here's Trump's crowd of 40. And, right. Sierra Leone. I hope I don't need to listen to uh, another barrage of why Sierra Leone should be in the mix and going to win. And uh, I just have no interest in this horse. Sean, do you? No. Yeah. No. Even I mean, maybe, maybe, get, maybe, maybe like a, if you're playing supers, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe, maybe he gets up in like the, the four spot. Um, yeah. In, in this race, which is interesting, uh, next will be the, the, the great thing for next is that Arthur's ride is in the 12 because Arthur's ride is going to go. He, he, he's just going to go. Junior's going to go. He, it, it just, it's just that, it's just that simple. So if, if Juan's trying to get the position from the 14, I mean, Sierra is just going to go backwards. I mean, what, I mean, he's going to be in the back, and then you got uh, Arthur going forward. So all he has to do is really just get around Newgate. You know I mean, I mean, so so at least you have at least the position. You know, obviously that's not the ideal post, but uh, but I think he'll have he'll get, have a real chance to get the, the spot. Um, Fierceness, I think. I think it's interesting. City of Troy and Highland Falls draw uh, draw right next to each other. Um, the the two. Uh, Godolphin uh, horses, but um, the but um, I forever young to me. I, I just I look at that horse. He just at, as I put, could he look any possibly better than he's doing right now? He's just a pro. Like he came up to the the, the uh, camera yesterday when they were filming, and he just put his nose against it and just booped it. Like you know, what I mean? he knows exactly what he's doing. He's a pro. He he knows the people. The, the the noise isn't going to bother him in the in the slightest. I mean, he just I think he's just a pro's pro, and and, and to me he he's still. And I always say this for young horses, I hate the rail. For an experienced horse, that's not as much as a problem. So I I think he he can get him out, and uh, he'll be right there at the end. A horse that I touted big time for the Derby, so he did let me down a little bit, but I, I think I'm going to go back to the well because uh, I agree with what you guys have said about this horse and uh, really, really, I thought should have won 
that race. And then the other Japanese horse, Ushba Tesoro, Tim, you had some breaking news in our chat today about that video that's going viral. Uh, looked like me trying to get my five-year-old to eat dinner, uh, eat his broccoli. <laughs> is what that jockey was wrestling with Ushba Tesoro, who, who just turned a little bit and tossed the jockey off. Great job by the, the rider there. Uh, I shouldn't say jockey, the rider to, to keep him uh, at least under control and not get away and, and open up a dangerous situation on the track today. But definitely want to want to check that out uh, across your Twitter. Um, so something to keep in mind there. And then uh, you know we talked about puzzling morning lines. Um, City of Troy at five to two, running over a surface that he hasn't before. Obviously, extremely talented horse who we've seen run uh, them off their feet on the turf. But a the travel, b going over a surface hasn't before. There must be some confidence for the trainer who's putting uh, this horse in this situation because his reputation's on the line of being able to do this. But let's not forget, as as I heard Matt DeSantis say on one of his streams recently back in two thousand and one, when it was uh, the the horses, the best horses from around the world came together and it's set up for Tis now wins it again in America with. Um, uh, Saki was that yeah, Saki, yeah, 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 and um, uh, the other horse that was there in third, I can't remember. Uh, but but it, it sets up for you know the best of the best, and doesn't matter the surface, we're going to show up and we're going to run against you. That obviously adds a lot of intrigue and excitement here into the race. Uh, either of you interested, City of Troy at five to two? Absolutely not. And, and you know, look, C City of Troy may may be the real deal and may come in here and do something. But if he did it, it to, to me, he has to do it at much longer odds than that. I I, I do not understand this horse being five to two in here. And I, I'm just going to to speak to a comment that Sports with Nick is putting in the chat here, because you guys know when we did our top 10, I, I was Japanese exacta. And, and I love Forever Young and I love Ushba Tesoro. And, and, and yes, the video today that I, I don't think that ended up being a lot. I just think it was a situation no. that could have been. And then they, they went back out on the track and the horse was really professional. But just like Sean was talking about, we were in the chat yesterday and uh, we were actually uh, talking while we were watching the, uh, the work show out there at Del Mar. And, and this horse just looks so good on the track. And he is such a professional, uh, he, he being Forever Young. And, and but Ushba Tesoro is the real deal. And this is a good horse. And and I think if, if I can get that 12 to one right there, I'll take that all day. But uh, and, and then next is my surprise horse that uh, that I like underneath a lot and like that. So th those are my top three. City of Troy could be in there, but I, I just, you know, unless he's just really that great, I just don't see it. So. Uh, we'll see. Maybe, maybe they surprise me. He, he's a great horse, no doubt, but I, I can't take him at five to two, especially uh, running on a new surface in a race like this against horses that have competed as these have. Right. And just to give an update on Ushba, just so people know, his mouth got caught in the bit, in the in the in the stirrup. Literally, he was actually biting the 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 left stirrup of of the rider because his mouth got caught in it. That's what caused that reaction. Ushba is one of the most calm horses, but when you when he, when he got caught, that's what was startling him. He was trying to get out of the of the uh, of the um, apparatus. And luckily, kudos to that man who brilliantly, very calmly got him back back down to, and then got the saddle off and then got the thing out of his mouth. But um, it, so that's interesting. The other thing is, too, and I'll say this, Tim always says this, and he's rightfully so, Ryan Moore is one of the best turf riders I've ever seen, right? But on dirt, he's not the uh, – I'm saying he's, he's not the best. He, he, can he win? Absolutely. But he's not – Is he hasn't had as great success on dirt as he has on on the, on the turf. So, to me, uh, you got a lot of things going first. You, you, you got – First time dirt, first time America, first time travel, first time, you know, could he win? Absolutely. But, it, but, you know, it's just interesting. All right. We got to get moving because we're, uh, we're halfway through here, but right. I do, I don't go around and tell a lot uh, much, but one thing that gets lost in the shuffle is number eight, Pyrenees. Yes. His second outing was October 1st of 2022. And I was looking back through my Derby notes of that year. He lost to a horse by the name of Tappet's Conquest, who you probably remember from getting onto the Derby Trail. And Pyrenees just never came through, finished 11th in a maiden special weight that Rocket Can actually ran. 
uh, ran up against Banishing, and since then uh, has has rattled off some really, really strong races. And I just find it interesting that in my note, which I'm going to screen grab and shoot out, that I said, pay attention to this horse, Pyrenees, who finished second, who might be a nice price going forward. Now, I kind of forgot about the horse, to be honest. And so when I see him show up in a Breeders' Cup Classic two years later, uh, I just give myself a little pat on the back and say, good job, you, from two <laughs> years ago. You haven't made any money on the horse, but uh, you, you saw something that others that others didn't see. So uh, kudos to me.